And we're back in the game with some more Medieval 2 Total War, playing as the Byzantines. Right, we've got a little money left, but we're at an end turn, I believe. We've recently recaptured Durazzo. Uh, this channel's coming down for resupply. We're building in all of our settlements. We've got the Polish capital under siege and we have their second city of Kiev also under siege. We're having to deal with the Turks pushing against us in Anatolia. But let's go ahead and end that turn. Right, there's a heretic just popped up in Rhodes. We've just lost our fleet outside of Rhodes. And our reinforcements for Kiev are being attacked in the field. Alright, that's the only missile unit they have. So we should be able to defend against their cavalry. And just try to protect our Trebizond archers. Not too confident that we'll win this. But we need to kill off as many Polish forces as possible so they don't interfere with the siege of Kiev. We may be able to find some good ground to defend. We're lucky. Yeah, maybe here. We just form a, a V shape and put our archers in the middle of it. Start the battle, zoom in, that unit of Kev ran away, and they're forming up. If they get a good charge in with their general, they will probably break us. But we'll have to see how many kills we get with our archers. At some point we will be playing as the Polish, quite like the Polish, they have a nice colour scheme. They don't have an amazing roster, but they have some good cav. Dismounted Polish nobles are a good solid unit for your um, front line. Right. The Polish nobles are also, I believe, javelin cav and can be quite devastating. And we should slow it down. See if we can just target their general. Right. I think their units are basically blocking their general from getting a good charge in at the moment. Our Trebizond archers might not do too much against their general. So we should switch targets. 13 to 10, and they slightly outnumbered us. Right. They'll probably get a charge in on our archers, but there's only four of them. Uh, we're about to break. Right. Let's try to save as many as possible. Clear defeat. Yeah. As expected. Right. We will accept that. Okay, they are attacking our army outside of Kiev. So this could be to our benefit. Right. So that's who we just faced. We're going to decimate them. And there, in fact, is their prince. I was looking around for the prince. I think their faction leader is leading a crusading army somewhere. Let's get in there. Kiev should by now be a very large city and certainly wealthy. Wealthy enough for us to sack. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's yes, it does. Start deployment. Scythians. So a lot of Scythians there. And 
Let's see how we both mode of cavalry militia. Let's just put them up there. They'll be fairly useful against the enemy's lightly armed infantry. The enemy have brought up more men. They yes, they have, but they they're basically behind our civilians. So we're just going to come back here and shoot them. Right. We, that's the Polish nobles. I mean, we could try to overwhelm them with our militia units. Get up there. Are they not coming into the battle? They should have entered the battlefield by now. See if we can target you while at the same time trying to hit you. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. Alright, somebody's shooting back at you, unless you're getting hit by friendly fire. They have lost half You're having trouble them. killing off those Polish nobles, aren't you? We have engaged the enemy's general. And how have you managed to get into melee? Come on, you can kill them all. You're about to get rear charged though. And that's why you just broke. Right. Go and shoot their general, who's almost gone. That's actually their prince, isn't it? Somebody shoot their general. In that case, go ahead and shoot the other general. That's a bigger target. Okay. Well, that's one of them. Who was it? Alright, their uh, faction here. You must have literally hundreds and hundreds of arrows hitting you. Seriously, you can't kill them off. The enemy general flees 
like the coward he is. Well, he's there too. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Right. Give the dog some wine. Who's still left? See us defeat them. The enemy flees the battle. Yep. Run down those worthless peasants. We are going to kill them all. Anyone that we can. Ninety nine per cent. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Yep. So Kiev should be ours. Thirteen hundred and eighty eight. Nope. All right, they're not that happy with us. Not a very, it's only a large town with not a very big population. All right, yes, my lord. Yes, closing to engage, my lord. Our fleet is victorious. Prepare to board and engage. Victory mission failed. All right. You come up to there. You're going to need a priest. You're not very happy. France is at war with England and they've broken their alliances. Noble life lost. Priest in Corinth. All right. Grab him. Let's yes. build a watchtower. Oh my gosh, there's a Moorish army there. What are they doing there? Yep, they've been torn apart. Alright, let's leave our infantry. Behind, my lord. Yes. Merge everyone else up. Commander. Approaching, my lord. Yes, lord. Get you heading up towards Ragusa. Yes, noble lord. There's a noble witch. Yes. Retraining. That's a good army if we can get it over to Italy. Two thousand. We can get them to upgrade. Right. Order. Yes. Order. March. Got room for three more units. And get rid of them. Okay, we have two priests there. I guess one came from Nicaea. At some point. I can go no further today. Let's bolster the defences here in our capital. Right. There's the new faction air. Let's see if you can kill that witch now. Nope, you didn't get her. All right, there's the Polish faction leader, King Ryson. All right, get on back there. Ah, we have a penalty for construction. 
Get rid of them. You can't recruit anyone. Wait, my sword, and you can get some more mercenaries. So grab them. Get back in the settlement. You're about to join up with that force. I think he was on crusade. He does have some options. Going after Yassi, Halleck or Kiev. Or trying to get all the way over here. To lift the siege. He might not even make it in fact. Right, got the spy there. Venice has become a rebel settlement. We can disband that unit. Recruitment. We've got our priest coming up here. Try to get some peace. Okay, you don't have a port, do you? Now, okay, instead of getting a priest there, let's try to build up the fleet and from Thessalonica so we can get an army over to Italy. Oops. Money is almost gone. You're just not getting happy. Although we are at parity now with our religion. Alright. Ah, oh, yes, that's a Polish settlement as well, isn't it? How well defended is it? Less than half a stack. They haven't moved any forces that I've seen in many a turn. Right. That's Denmark. Thieves Guild. Yes, we will. Our money is almost gone. Capture Prague. Alright. It's a possibility. All declared. Spain and the Moors. Yeah, they're not going for it, are they? Right, we got her killed. Now let's see about our fleet. Oh, who's in there? Are you going to have to fight the Turks, I wonder? You've been blockaded by a neutral force. See how good you are. Terrible. Religious unrest. They're going to have to waste a lot of money trying to keep people happy. Alright. Your orders, noble one. Of course, my lord. Make camp, men. We rest here. We shall continue at first light. Come on. Okay. Let me strike, my lord. Order. Yes. Yes, 
Come and sit at the port. Okay. Well, he managed to kill him. Let's go ahead and send all these cavalry units over here. Take the general out first, and then construct it, and raise taxes also. Alright, the Polish king is coming after you. Apparently he has a lot of cavalry as well. Right. There's a cavalry unit there. Join up. Ah, there's Prince Troiden, he came back. Are you still on crusade? Alright. Well, we constructed a lot. But our money is going down. We have a lot of corruption now. Trade isn't that great. Because nobody wants to trade with us. Alright, you're pretty old, but we can make use of you. You're in Durazzo. Alright, and you're getting unhappy. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's send you this way. War declared Denmark and Russia. That benefits us. Yep. Let's get as strong a navy as possible. Oh, still can't get out. Alright. In that case, let's bring you down here. Get you as close to the fleet as possible. Right. You went that way. Go and talk to. Ah, oh, you can't get through there. Who's that? The Russian. Do we now border? Right. That's down to five turns, and with all of the holes over there, we don't have too much to worry about. You can get into the settlement, so let's take you out. And we're going to have a battle. Right. You can join up there. You can get in there. There's no cavalry in there. I'm sure I'll keep 185. Let's disband you. Smyrna, can we get archers now? No. We need that. Budapest, you're now somewhat happy. And Halic, we now have the road network. Right. But we're going to have that battle in the next episode. Now we have a better idea of what's in the enemy army. A lot of pilgrims, a 
there is a lot of cavalry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least nine. Although I can't really count that. So we might be able to take out the faction leader and the prince. But that's going to be in the next episode. So until then, thank you all for watching and we'll see you later.